If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TT Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today on the live stream, or thanks so much for watching the video if you are watching the video later on today. Um, Mew 3 Malamar, one of the most um, talked about decks as well, it seems like this will be one of the best decks for sure from the new format. Um, new coming cards that um, allow this deck to really really work is first off the new rule, the new supporter rule because Horror House becomes incredibly, incredibly powerful and combining that with Nightwatch or even Poltergeist is really, really good. We have Indie DV, which um, is a Psychic type attacker that is not weak to Psychic and with the Psychic attack <laughs> um, can 1KO opposing Mewtwo, so it's really good in the mirror and it can heal damage in order to allow your Mewtwo, your Mewtwo to attack past uh, Mimikyu if it doesn't have too much damage. And then we have Dragonite, Magnadel and Megalopony for support along with the Fion. We have um, four Marnies, four Professor's Research, we have Malana for healing as well, and then we have um, Cherish Bolts, Treasures and Quick Bolts, any Quick Bolts to search for any basic Pokemon that we want. Air Balloon for free retreating purposes, Big Amulet for extra HP purposes, and Kerex well to prevent all the beneficial stadiums that exist. So let's jump into the ladder and see what we can do with Mew3. Malamar. Alright. Let's find our next opponent. Right, so we have the turn one, or the turn two horror house. Um, my opponent correctly choosing to go second, I believe. Um, we don't have much going on with our hand, so we'll probably just end up using Debbie Change, though. All right. Definitely appreciate the mulligans, right? Getting this definitely helps. Ooh, and getting the Fion is actually fantastic because here's what we're gonna do. We are going to go ahead and quick pull away the Gengar Mimikyu and establish our Inke. Well, I guess we'll establish Ditto because we can search for Inkes with treasures. So we'll do this and then I'm gonna use Fion's ability to mess up with their start, right? So my opponent gets punished for benching a card he should not have benched, probably. We'll go ahead and Balloon, and we'll pass. And the next turn we have Malmar, we have Research, we have Switches. Um, we could go into a Whorehouse, we could go into a Nightwatch. But, <laughs> that Power Plant is actually very, very detrimental. Very, very detrimental. Okay, so there's a Rillaboom. That top deck is really, really nice. 
I won't be able to daily change, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, establishing this makes sense. And we need to find Chaotic Swells. Josh, thank you so much for resubscribing with Twitch Prime. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Am I planning to play a Snorlax VMAX deck, Cernio? I will, but I feel like that's much better in Expanded than it is in Standard. Um, okay, I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna switch. And I'm gonna Professor's Research. Clean Professor's Research, research right? So high five. <laughs> um, no Stadium, though. Ugh. No stadium. So we're just gonna mess with my opponent once again with the Fion. That's like that's not attacking me next turn. Try and quick wall. Okay. Establish Inke. Yeah. Establish Inke, and then I feel pretty confident living my Malamar in the active spot this turn. Pretty, pretty confident. Alright. I assume my opponent plays switches, right? That's a reasonable assumption. Can he whiff the switch just like I whiffed the stadium? Yes, that is what ends up happening. I top deck Malamar. Um, because of this situation, I think this Church Bowl, I will dedicate it to um, Trevnor. And I will actually bench the Trevnor. And then let's go ahead and Marty. And there's a stadium, perfect. There is the stadium, which we really appreciate. And then I can't knock out the Rillaboom, but I can put my opponent down to three cards, which is pretty fantastic overall, I'd say. Oh, two cards, sorry, two cards. So, well, I could Miraculous 2 over the KO. Is that worth it? I don't think so. I think saving Pale Moon for this guy is a little better. And putting my opponent down to two cards is just fantastic. Okay, so looking at that and knowing my opponent is essentially hand locked, I reckon now I pale on this guy, right? I think that makes sense. So I'm gonna great catcher, discarding the treasure and the Indidi. I mean, Indidi could punish the six energies. Uh, hmm. Later on, right? Later on. Because we're leaving this guy alive, so. Let's just go for it. Um, Pale Moon GX, yes. Discard five energies, which is a very, very big loss, and gets knocked out next turn. So my opponent, maybe he can retreat it, but I think the, the five energy loss is a really, really big deal here. I see a Great Ball. Do see the attachments? So will my opponent actually just attack me and give me three prizes? I am fine with that. Right? Definitely, definitely seems like a good trade-off. Definitely seems like a good trade-off because I get to attack and then my opponent's at zero card hand. And I could even choose to snipe the Jirachi. Further causing problems for my opponents. And I get to heal. <laughs> Technically, I should have researched before I healed. It doesn't change anything. Um, do, I, do I just KO? Is that worth it? I feel like I should go after the Jirachi. I honestly feel like I should. I will play the Quick Ball still. Make sure I thin. I'll grab Fion. And then I'll grab... Sure, this one, just to have options, and then let's go Venom Shot, the Drachi. I, I was actually testing earlier with physical cards, and I'm pretty sure I lost a game where I didn't kill a Drachi and my opponent was able to recover off of the Drachi. 
Um, I should be. Thank you, Tommy Boy. I should be on by then. Yeah, I should be on by then. <laughs> I agree. Quick ball is a fantastic, fantastic card, and one we really, really needed. <clears throat> All right, so Stadium gets countered, that's fine. I went did top deck the Magnolia, so Kevin Jirachi doesn't actually end up making a big difference. However, I do have a switch, and now I can snipe this guy. Right, which makes a lot of sense to me, whilst attaching it here, I guess. Right. I'm not gonna burn, burn the Cherish Ball, I'm just gonna go ahead and Marty. Yeah, we should be good here. And I'll go ahead and retreat, and I will Venom Shot this guy. So I know I hit this guy for 150 earlier, and it seems like a huge waste of damage, but I'm not trying to be efficient, I'm trying to win the game. And I'm fairly sure at this point I'm just gonna win it 6-0 <laughs> well okay I spoke no I still win because I have this guy to knock out like this guy can attack this guy can attack as well probably won't but this guy can attack <clears throat> my boat doesn't retreat though that's basically game right that should be game that should be game Well, it does retreat, so now I just need a switch. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and thin as much as we can. I do have one switch left. I do have one switch left. Um, otherwise, I'll just um, use Nightwatch, which is also a fine play. <clears throat> no switch, no KO this turn. That energy, if that had been there, I would have won immediately, but it's fine. I'll just watch over. I think I forgot to do it last turn. And then, oh no, never mind. I needed Stadium as well. That's okay though. I forgot I needed Stadium. <laughs> I can just attack with this guy. And then I'll power up. And then I will whoop for Nightwatch, and that should be game. Fairly sure that's gonna be game. Fairly, fairly sure that would be game. Giving up though. <laughs> okay. Alright, on to the next match. GG Sack Baker. Seems like he prized a, p a few pieces. Yeah. And then finally he realizes that I just attack and win. So not bad, right? Not bad. Not bad at all. That Satian versus Mewtwo game, that was gonna be very interesting, I think. That's gonna be super, super interesting. Okay, too many animations. I hate that you can't skip over these animations. We are going second though, which I appreciate. As long as I don't top the Gamalmar. This is weird where you know you have to dead change, so do you take the mulligan or do you not take it? And we're up against obstacle, so that's gonna be actually I won't be able to dead change because I need to evolve into the Nagna Del GX. I need my Ditto to evolve into Nagna Del GX. Here we 
about Luan Mimikyu. It's gonna be a, an interesting game though, for sure. I can whorehouse. Okay, I <laughs> get the Malamar, darn it. Um, okay, this is gonna be a really tough match. Okay, so one quick ball. I'm only gonna have access to one Malamar the whole game. That is so awful. Well, I guess, I guess, yeah. Because this has to go towards Steady Change. This absolutely has to go towards Steady Change. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. That has to be Steady Change. <laughs> Alex, I don't know. I just have random. Something random here. A random playlist. Okay, if he gets rare candy off Sagun, then I'm just gonna concede. That's not okay, so he won't get it. So I have Nagna Del GX as an option to start attacking. Blaster and Labs are playing Balloon, that's odd. Alright, so I'll evolve there. So do I wait? No, I shouldn't, right? I don't think I should. Thank you so much for the follow, Lara. Um, I guess I'll attach the energy. I'm gonna lose that anyways. Ugh, so bad though. So bad. One Malamar the whole game. That's gonna be so tough to win. That's gonna be so tough to win. Do I even bother setting up? Yeah. Uh, maybe not. And I have an attack of next turn, right? That's not bad. As long as I find a Malamar. So I should focus on that. Uh, sure, the energy. Yeah, my other Malamar is in price, thankfully. So I feel like Fion could be good in this scenario at some point. And then I'm not even gonna bother benching Linke. Thoughts of Lunala GX in Mewtwo Mali? I have no idea what Lunala GX does. Isn't Lunala GX a stage? Oh yeah, but like I, I have no idea what Lunala GX does, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell me, then I would appreciate it. I have no clue what it does. Oh, I thought I was stepping on my dog for a second. I was like, uh-oh. Which is fantastic, right? I don't like that I lose a switch here because I'm gonna need to continually switch out in order to fully power up. I do find my Malamar, and that's fantastic. Right? That is absolutely fantastic. And I get this as well. And I have switch. <laughs> I have all my switches actually. <laughs> Which is very sad. I mean, I was basically forced into this because of the matchup. Okay, Marnie. Marnie gets allows me to keep the switches. That's really good. That's a really good price. The GX attack says any of your opponent's non GX basic Pokemon is KO'd. Mm, I mean, I guess that could KO bees, right? That could be a nice way to KO a B Pokemon. It's just usually, um, usually, um, usually your GX you want it to be Horror House, I think. So, all right, and I top the gun energy. That is fantastic. That is actually fantastic. Thank you so much, Topdex and Price, for working with me. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna use Fion to make him think I'm gonna do something. I should have used Fion to start the turn. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. If he brought up the Mimikyu, I might have been in a little bit of trouble. Right, 100% wanted this because um, because now he doesn't get to Stellarwish, right? Now he doesn't get to Stellarwish. So he might beat the unbeatable matchup. Okay, um, do I just go after the Sable IV? I feel like I should, right? Why not? Um, I don't want to lose my last switch, so I'm gonna Marty, unfortunately. I do need a Psychic, which I have five left, which I do find. So do I just go after the Sable IV? Or am I confident enough that I can KO the Sable IV? Like, if I KO this, I can just KO the Sable IV afterwards, right? Yeah. Hmm. Is this greedy? It doesn't feel greedy. I feel like, well... Okay, next turn I could get an attack off. Thanks to Gengar Mimikyu. This is tough. Do I go after Sableye or do I go after the Sixagoon? I think in the long run, KOing Sixagoon will win me a lot more games. Because this is also two energies away from attacking so far. I think so. Tough call though, tough call for sure. Tough call. Tough call. All right, perfect. <laughs> so we beat Octagon. We beat Octagon. So one more, and then we can move on to a different deck. Mm -hmm. And we can move on to a different deck. All right. Oh, we're up against Azul. <laughs> we are up against Azul, all right. I usually have terrible luck against other streamers, so we'll see. We lose the coin flip, so I would imagine we are going first. No, Azul still chooses to go first. I'm very surprised by that. And he's gonna get punished by the Horror House. No need to bench anything else. I'll quick ball for an Inke and then Marnie. Alright. So let's see what Azul has in store for us with this Sagean deck. We see a Tackle, Kuzmahal and ADP. Primate Wisdom. Finds a Sagean, possibly off of that Primate Wisdom, which is insane. Right? That's fine. All right. No metal to put on the Sagean, though. That's good. Um, all right. This is pretty nice, in fact. 
I don't think Indy will be too great here. Well, it could actually as a two price attacker, never mind. Um, ooh, you know what? I could maybe KO this before. Like, he could use the GX, but he won't get the extra primes. Does that even matter? Because he drew three cards, so it's either Pokemon or... Hmm. So do I hold Dolphin the Marnie for one turn? I feel like I should, actually. Okay, so change of plans. I'm just gonna set up Benke. Yeah, and I'm just gonna Horror House. And then he can't do anything. And then off of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards, possibly 12, if he decides to use Seijin, I could just knock out the ADP. And he does. Greedy Azul. <laughs> Greedy, greedy as well. Alright, so I shouldn't Marnie, right? Yeah, so it doesn't matter right this card. Alright, greedy, greedy as well. As long as I draw an energy, he will get punished. I draw three, in fact, and I don't draw the uh, supporter, which sucks. <clears throat> Um, I'll just poltergeists. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. <laughs> 550 damage. And a smiley face. <clears throat> and we're dead drawing. Come on. Ugh. And we are dead drawing. Ugh, so frustrating. One time, and my other Dedenne is priced. And my other Dedenne is priced. So I found Fion though. Like, top it being Quick Ball and getting Fion or Fion, that would be like, goodbye. Back in. Intrepid Sword again? I feel like, yeah, Azul's list is, is very similar to the one that we played er earlier. He can't do anything without IADP. I mean, he can, because my start is so bad, but that was a nice punish, that's for sure. That was certainly a nice punish for us. Skateboard. He have Switch in hand? I think he did. Oh, he plays Marnie. Thank you, Azul. That is very kind of you. I actually don't mind this Marnie at all. Okay, now the Fiona is less good. How are we still dead drawing? <laughs> what the heck? Um, how am I still dead drawing? I haven't seen a supporter like a draws of well anything really. Oh gosh. Okay, so how do I go about doing this? Dealing 220 is not easy, right? Um, should I go for Fion? I feel like that's super greedy. I feel like going for Fion here is super greedy. Do I go for this? Maybe this is worth it. <sighs> My other dead enemy price is so bad. And a Magnolia, and a Marnie. And I didn't hit any of those of my prizes. So maybe I'll hit one now, I guess. I'm not super convinced about this though, but oh well. That's what we have. Um, sure, I'll get rid of the Oranger, it's fine. For another Ink A. And then I'll go Bench, Attach. Psychic Recharge. No Stadiums, no Supporters, no anything. All right, Poltergeist, Research, Saucer, Vitality Band, Hala, one, two, three, four, he has the energy, yes, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I think my three prizes are, I'm really sure, Marnie, Magnolia, and Tetene. Yeah, so, <laughs> there was no way for me to get a bad prize off of that. And now I just need to get one Seijin, and I'm good.
So another reason to go for the Trevenant Dosnoir, like not only does it maybe stop him from having a way to switch out next turn, um, if I had found the Marnie, right, if I could play Marnie this turn, but it gives this like false sense of security to where if he, um, like he's taking, he has seven cards now, right, and he's taking three prize cards. So if I, like, if I promote this, but all of a sudden I find a Mewtwo and then I Poltergeist, then he might be in trouble, right? He just wasted a Tackle, right, which is fair. So I'm about to get another Supporter in hand. Which is the Pokemon Catcher, which we don't mind at all. Zap those what? Discord's by Taliban. Okay, so he is playing around it. Yeah. I'm down one more. Oh, yeah, I'm down one more. That's true. Okay, so my prize is worth it. Then a uh, Magnolia and something else. You're right, Turbo Darkness. You are correct, Daruni. All right. So, Brave Blade does get the prizes. Um, the shrine damage is super annoying, though. But the fact that there's no ADP damage is great. Okay. Well, I do top deck the energy, that's nice. So I think my plan is to attack into this and then maybe he'll retreat into Sapdos. How do I not find a stadium? Come on! How do I not find a stadium? Now I just lose to a switch. Come on, how do I not find a stadium? I tell you, I have such bad luck. Such bad luck when playing against other people, other non-players. Now I have to go for the Poltergeist. Because this doesn't survive. Hits. the heck? Alright, so Poltergeist. One, two, three, four, four. Two Pokemon catchers, re-stamp, no switching card. We are getting stamped though. <laughs> ah, so frustrating though. So frustrating. Alright. Pokemon catcher immediately. <sighs> Did he whiff? I mean, my hand is dead anyway, so... I have three switches... And... Two research... And three Marty as potential outs... Does he have the 10A in there? Yeah, he does. Okay, so yeah, we're losing this game. <laughs> <sighs> like, turn one, we couldn't get an advantage. Turn one, we couldn't get an advantage, even though he chose to go first. And then... <laughs> can find a stadium. We would have been at 260, we would have been fine. I would have just attacked, I would have had the Mewtwo. I would have been perfectly fine. That would have been perfectly fine. Oh well. Insane. Oh well. Um, okay, so let's play something different now. I will be going into my cargo, GG to Azul. Thank you so much for the game, and I will see you in a little bit. I will be right 